Okay, so you've probably caught on to something I'm fascinated by. I'm fascinated by finding how much of the same DNA background that a person can get. And it all started when, with my mom, being a quarter Italian her whole life, me taking my test this summer, showing I'm 0% Italian, her eventually taking her, showing it's only, she's only 2% Italian, and realizing that certain ethnic backgrounds or certain nations of origin, they're less likely to be the same amount of that. Like, if you're from Finland, there's a good chance you're closer to 100% Finnish. Or Norwegian if you're in Norway, so on. But then there's other countries like Italy that are just quite the crossroads and therefore, if you're of Italian descent, you've probably got a little in there, you've got a decent amount maybe, but the chances of you being very high in that aren't that, very, aren't that good. So on a similar note, I wanna to talk today about people who have with, with being labeled as Jewish DNA. I know some people get really technical, like, well, you can't, what are you talking about? It's a religion, it's, you know, no. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> the DNA test show, should I say Hebrew? Would that, would that make people feel better, okay? So what I'm, what I'm just kind of trying to figure out here is how Jewish are you if you're Jewish? It, it, especially if you identify, say, yeah, I'm Jewish. Whether you're, whether you're following the religion or not, if your ethnic heritage, whatever the right way I'm supposed to say that is, right? Albert Einstein, we all recognize that he was a Jewish man, okay? <laughs> right, so if you're Jewish, how Jewish are you? And I don't mean like for me and my mom, because like my mom, her test revealed that the Italian thing was really Middle Eastern and it was Jewish more than anything. So that means I'm part Jewish. So is my mom. We're a little bit Jewish, but we're not like Jerry Seinfeld Jewish, right? And that's what I'm getting at. People who identify as Jewish and say, oh, that guy, yeah, he's Jewish. If you're Jewish, how Jewish are you according to your DNA test? I really would be fascinated by this. And I think ultimately that's one of the things that really got me fascinated into DNA research to begin with, to where I finally thought, hey, I'm, I need to take one of these tests. And that is, and I'm trying to think of when this started. In college, I think it was. Uh, I started picking up on the fact that even though I didn't really know any people who were Jewish growing up because I'm from Alabama, uh, I started noticing that so many famous people were. And it got to the point where I realized it was difficult to find a sitcom in which one of the actors was not Jewish. Like Home Improvement is one of the rare examples and where there, there's no Jewish people in the cast. There were a few writers that, that were along the way. But like any sitcom, like growing up I'm thinking of, there was always at least one Jewish person. Like for example, Roseanne and the show Roseanne. Roseanne Barr is Jewish. That, and I think her son DJ on the show, I think he also is. I can't confirm that. But there's always just that one. Who's the boss? Judith White. Growing Pains? Ben, the son Ben. It's like Family Matters is one of the few exceptions. But even even the Cosby show, the old, what was her name? Uh, the one that married Lenny Kravitz? Her. She's half Jewish. So it's like, wow, there's, I became fascinated by the fact I didn't know any Jewish people, but I couldn't find a sitcom or a movie without there being at least one Jewish person in the cast. It's, it's the exception of the rule when you can actually find someone who's not Jewish in a movie or a, or a uh, sitcom. Even, and it's funny because even Christmas movies, there's Jewish people in them. Like even, okay, let me think of one right off the bat. Uh, Christmas Vacation. What's her name? Doris Roberts. That was went on to play on uh, Everybody Loves Ra Raymond. Is that her name? So she's Jewish. She's in a Christmas movie. And you look at the credits. All these writers, they're Jewish. So it's like, it's undeniable. Of course, if we want to talk about Everybody Loves Raymond, the big tall brother guy, he's also Jewish, and that's not his real last name. Whatever it says on the credits, he changed his name. That's his stage name. So. This is kind of just I mean, it's so fascinating, but I'm like, are these people, how Jewish are they? Like, was their dad Jewish and therefore they have a Jewish name, but they're not, but the, maybe their mother's not? Or how Jewish are Jewish people? And it's funny because I know there's those shows like, um, who do you think you are? Like, for example, Sarah Jessica Parker. I didn't see the episode with her on it, but my guess is if she took a DNA test, even though she identifies as Jewish, she may only 
be 30% Jewish. See, that's something I wonder. I wonder if Jewish people are less Jewish than we think. You know, because there's like Ethiopian Jews in Ethiopia right now. They can, in theory, even though they're African as well, they could be more Jewish than more pe Jewish people we recognize today. Okay? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of more just famous Jewish people right off the bat. Like, the Savage Brothers, Ben and Fred Savage, Boy Meets World, The Wonder Years. Okay? You look at those guys, they kind of look like me. They look Jewish. They got the Jewish name. They got Jewish hair. Like, when I think of someone who should look Jewish, it's like those guys, for example. How Jewish are they? If they took a DNA test, <laughs> I'm not expecting that they'd be 100% Jewish. I don't know how much, though. So that's my question. I, I feel like I've had to say all these things just to make sure that we're clear on this. That for someone who identifies as ethnically Jewish, who's Hebrew, how Jewish are they when it comes to the test? Now, I always tell the story. The person who ultimately convinced me to go through my heritage was Jewish. A girl on Twitter saw me asking, hey, does this test identify Jewish DNA? And then within minutes, she commented and she said, yes. And she showed me results and it said 100% Jewish. It showed that on there. So she is, but is that normal? Because she's still over there in Israel or the Middle East somewhere. But like, for example, and American Jews especially, that's what I wonder. If you're an American Jew, how Jewish are you? I would love, I would love for you to share your results. I'm fascinated by Jewish people. I'm fascinated by the history. I think it's amazing. And I think it's amazing too, like what an influence they've had in American history. It's fascinating. So if you're Jewish, how Jewish were you according to your DNA test results? Is it one of those things where if you're three quarters Jewish, you look Jewish and we won't question, or even half Jewish. So many Jewish celebrities, like Jack Black, he's half Jewish. Only half of them. And so when you look at him, you're like, oh, I wouldn't have known he was Jewish. He's half Jewish. Winona Ryder, half Jewish. She could easily pass for Jewish. So I don't really, I have trouble discerning who's 100% Jewish and who's half. But even then, are they even really half? I can only learn from you. I can only become enlightened from the comments that you leave. Help me understand, if you're Jewish, how Jewish are you according to your DNA test? Especially if you're an American Jew, please share that with me. I wonder if, if you're less Jewish by the time you become Americanized. I'm, I'm wanting to know. I'm curious. I'm open-minded. Teach me the truth.